A few days ago, I got a DM on Instagram from a subscriber who asked me to platinum LEGO Jurassic World. And since I love both dinosaurs, LEGOs, and Chris Pratt's handsome face, I had no choice other than to subdue his wishes. The LEGO Jurassic World Platinum Trophy consists of 50 trophies and you play through 3 Jurassic Park movies and then the Jurassic World movie. Many guides online are very, very old and the game's trophy list has changed quite a bit since its original release, so I basically went in blind. I was feeling like Anne Frank and the first stage of this game's Platinum Trophy is to beat the entire story, and while doing so, I also went for a true survivor on each level, which essentially means you just smash your character's head into absolutely everything in sight, giving him major trauma. The first mission starts with you being introduced to this super badass survivor guy and his glizzy gobbler friend. I don't know what it is with this game, but the glizzies were everywhere, and I felt very aroused if I'm being honest. You're tasked with trying to put a raptor into its enclosure, and apparently the idiot workers there can't get it done themselves. The glizzy strikes back and sends the sussy raptor into an absolute frenzy, and then we end up over on Jurassic Park's mission next. This game had one of the most confusing mission flows I've ever seen at first, and I got super lost because we constantly swapped between movies, and I was just honestly confused. Almost like the modern 12-year-old child in America. The Jurassic Park mission mostly just consisted of you wandering around a dig site until the rich man showed up in his goddamn helicopter like a true shad. We finished the mission and got two trophies, one for just doing the mission and another for getting True Survivor for the first time. After that, you get unleashed into the free roam of the game. Even though this game came out all the way back in 2015, it Loki has one of the coolest free roam integrations in a Lego game I've ever seen. When in free roam, you basically just walk from mission location to mission location, and once you find it, you can start the next mission. But somehow my dad still hasn't ever found me after he left. Cap. <laughs> a bit later on in the Jurassic Park missions, this one girl you play as basically throughout the entire game jumps into a pile of heaping hot diarrhea on the floor. She is truly a dirty girl like your mother, and we get a trophy for being elegant in the eyes of 2023 culture. Sick dinosaurs are a type of collectible, I guess uh, you could say, throughout the game's story missions and even free roam. Basically, those idiots who we brought back from extinction just lay on the floor with various middle schooler snack choices above their heads. In order to heal them, you have to find all of the snacks and shove it down their throats. I helped one idiot get back to full health and got another trophy. We finished off another mission for Jurassic Park and I got two more trophies in addition to my balls enlarging since playing this game in 2023 is only a thing true gamers do. And I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to do more of the Jurassic Park missions because I didn't want to swap back and forth between stories. And for whatever reason, I just could not figure out how to get to the next mission. It was honestly sad to watch and I tinkled in my pants a tiny bit out of pure frustration and disappointment. You know when your parents are disappointed in you, that sucks. But it sucks even more when you're just disappointed in yourself. Or if you get erectile dysfunction. I can imagine that would also not be great. So I hopped on over to do the Jurassic World storyline. And honestly, that movie was a banger. No comment on the newer ones after it, but this one slapped when I was a kid. During the first Jurassic World mission, you play as Chris Pratt and his homie, who go into the big boy T-Rex enclosure to find it, since apparently it went missing. But the thing sure didn't go anywhere since it tries to eat our friend, and this game really gave us a trophy for his suffering. After the iconic scene with Christopher smothering himself in car cum, we finish off the mission with another trophy. A few seconds later, I was playing as the two boys in Jurassic World that are like the main characters of the movie, and we get chased by a giant T-Rex in our hamster balls. If you throw in a few more luminous colors and blur the vision a bit, this is what I imagine you see when watching Barney while it's tripping on acid. The big white dinosaur finally gets a hold of the balls he has been after, and I'm starting to think he just has a thing for big balls. Like I understand, but come on, man, not in public like this, and even in front of the kids. That is mission over, and we get a trophy like usual. Christopher Pretius and that ginger girl, who nobody knows the name of, end up chasing down the white T-Rex, or rather, getting chased by it for the entire mission until the trophy pop at the climax. Always love being rewarded for reaching one. What did he say? There's a lot of fun missions in this game, but one of my favorites is this one where you shoot out of the back of the dinosaur van at the raptors who are running at you. It truly is a very accurate training session for whenever you want to go into Detroit past 7 p.m. After all of that fun, we finish another mission and trophy. And we have reached the final mission for Jurassic World. Each of the movies in this game only take up five missions total for the entire movie. So they definitely glaze over a lot of character development, but if we were being honest, who cares since you spend the entire game just smashing your head into plants anyway. This mission, you have a boss fight with a big T-Rex, and after like 20 minutes of confusion, you knock him into the water and he gets captured by the giant whale thing. And that's Jurassic World done, giving us another trophy. I then went back to Jurassic Park and I finally figured out how to start the next mission. My conclusion was that I did the usual It's Illusion thing and failed to see the most obvious solution slapping me right in the face. In the Jurassic Park mission, you get introduced to this girl for the first time from the movie, and lord have mercy, she has the most annoying power-up in this entire game. She literally just screams bloody murder into the mic and my ears wanted to just fall off and die right there.
The only thing that even came close to hurting my ears so bad was when Jake Paul dropped every day, bro. Anyways, on the same mission, I for some reason forgot that we just unlocked the ability to ear rape people and break glass with it. And I failed to notice that the only thing I needed to do this entire mission was break the window in the car that was hanging from the vines. I deadass spent 20 minutes going up and down this tree in a desperate attempt to find anything I missed. Also, I went into a slight midlife crisis because I realized I couldn't even be a LEGO game meant for kids, and I questioned what the hell my life was becoming. But eventually I did it and we finished the mission for the trophy. The next mission had a raptor boss fight which was so simple but still kind of hard and fun. Just like a boner. Anyways, this is a prime example of why LEGO games are so great. They can be the most simple thing ever, yet filled with loads of fun moments. There he is! After beating the raptor once I found the two brain cells I had left, we got a trophy. The next mission was actually the last one, and unlike Jurassic World, it had a much more anticlimactic ending. In fact, I felt sort of blue balled since all we did was distract the T-Rex and then drive away in our car. But we got a trophy and are now 50% done with the main story. No, I'm not gonna lie. I never watched the second or third Jurassic Park movies, and I honestly didn't know they were even a thing. And then again, it came out years before I was even born, so I don't think it's really my fault. But I did all five missions from both movies, totaling up to 12 trophies, in fact, since I got like one or two other random ones while I was playing through the games. So, stage one is done, and stage two can be done many different ways, and I'm not sure if I did it the right way or not, but I basically just decided to go into free roam of the different movie locations and try to 100% all the collectibles in it, because that is essentially over like 60% of the game's completion just by doing Doing that. I also did some trophies within, one of them where you have to be John Hammond twice at once. Uh, this was the rich dude from the Jurassic Park movies if you were uneducated. He's also bald as sh the NPC that follows you around as the quote unquote second player, which you could play as if you had any friends, um, I don't. Oh my god! And that stupid son of a bitch was constantly in my way the entire time I played this game. But for whatever reason, the idiot became a raptor at the same time I did, and apparently that was a trophy. So maybe the brother was trying to help me after all. In the same area I had been trying to get all the collectibles for, there was also a machine that can make custom dinosaurs, which are actually needed for certain objectives later on. But first, all you need to do is change one thing on them for a trophy. I went back to the first level in this game to get the amber crystal so I could use a dinosaur in free roam. But while I was there, I also decided to just get all the mini kits available on the mission so I could get the first trophy for those because why not? At this point in the game, basically every other trophy remaining is gotten on purpose or from just collectibles. There's a few random ones that I could have done, but I just saved those for the end since the daunting collect all mini kits trophy was just hovering over my head, like the possibility of just spontaneously combusting at any moment. I went a grand total of six hours straight without receiving a single trophy pop since I was literally just doing all the free roam objectives and every single one of those requires 100% attainability before you can even get a trophy for them. Finally, after what felt like years and years of grinding, I started to get trophies again and this all happened at the same time I went through another midlife crisis questioning what the hell I'm doing with my life. I've officially come to the conclusion that this is just part of getting platinum trophies. Anyways, the first one I received was for saving all the workers who got trapped around the free roam worlds. This was a very easy collectible scene as pretty much every time they were stuck, all you have to do was pull them out from under a tree or a rock, and you just spam circle to release them. Three minutes later to be exact, I saved every single sick dinosaur, which was a lot harder than saving the workers, since these dumb dinos required you to get them snacks in addition to a free hand job by the girl main character. I then got the camera trophy thing, which you get from taking pictures at various scenic locations in the game. This one wasn't really hard since all you do is take a picture, but sometimes the stupid things are hidden beneath bushes and they won't show up on the map, which literally drove me mad for a few minutes here and there. I also got all the red bricks, which are these super overpowered multipliers you have to buy after you collect, which is kind of dumb if you ask me, but lord have mercy they make it so easy to do literally everything in this game. And I really wish I used them because I didn't, and it would have made this platinum very, very easy. It really isn't funny actually. Like I feel sick at how little I use them, and feel free to flame me in the comments because I didn't use any of them until the end. Right after that I finished all the minigame races also. And that is the free roam done. Now I had to go back and get all the mini kits in each mode, which wasn't as bad as the free roam in terms of time, but in ag it was pretty much equal since I had to replay numerous missions throughout. Doing this without any red brick help was a horrible idea, and if any of you go for this platinum trophy, please, for the love of God, don't be me and use them. Eventually, after nearly wanting to chuck myself off of a bridge into fire, I got the Legacy of John Hammond trophy, which is awarded once you find all the amber crystals in the game's missions. There was one per mission, and it unlocked dinosaurs to use in free roam. A few missions later, I finally got all the mini kits, and I wanted to cry of joy because it took me like two days to get this ridiculous trophy. Now, all that is left is a few random random trophies and some specific objectives. The next one I did was actually from getting True Survivor on every mission, since I hadn't done like two of these bonus ones that you needed for it. Primarily because I was bad at it, but you also needed a red brick multiplier for them, and I didn't get any until now.
now. But once I used those, it made everything so easy, it was ridiculous. There was a specific red brick trophy where you unlock the ability to attract studs to you. And once you turn it on in settings, you get the trophy. For anyone stuck on the 100% completion, as I was also, you have to make sure to buy every single character and then all the vehicles included. I hadn't bought any vehicles yet, so that was what got me to 100% completion for the trophy. A few minutes later, I bought all the red brick upgrades and had a 3,480 times multiplayer on stud collection. Are you a fucking retard or what? Which made getting 65 million studs a feat so easy that I could have done it with both eyes closed, playing the game only with my tongue. I'm being serious. I then one gave a girl the pedophile history teacher haircut, and that was a trophy, which is odd that the LEGO games endorse that, but it's okay. You can spawn in dinosaurs on these blue pads throughout Free Roam, and somehow I never once did it to spawn in a custom dinosaur, but if you do that, you get a trophy. And then there is one for trying to hack into a computer using this dude named Alan. I'm... I think, I can't really remember his name. And another for throwing a soda at an enemy, which this random character can do for some reason I can't find other than that he has diabetes. You can also play soccer in this game, and if you score a goal as a raptor, it gives you a trophy, which is super cool. And if you use the retarded Mr. DNA character to build something, you also get a trophy. But this still doesn't make me hate the guy any less. And finally, after shocking a poor child with an electric weapon, which has got to be a hate crime, you get a trophy, and then I got the platinum right after. This is shockingly one of the platinum trophies I have been most excited to get because the grind for it was relentless. Sure, it wasn't like a 70 hour game, but I spent three quarters of the game grinding for these collectibles, which was so ass and dry. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and if this video gets 3,333 likes, I will platinum Ark Survival Evolved, since that is also a dinosaur game. No shit.